Hello. Uh, in this video, I thought it would be fun to jumble up some letters, and I'll uh, talk you through how we're going to do that. Um, the letters we're going to have in a string, uh, and we're going to pick random letters, and we're going to stick them into a new string. Um, and I think the best way of doing that is probably having a string, turning it into a list, popping out random items, and then appending them to a new string. Um, so I know I'm going to use random, so let's import that straight away. All right, so the first thing I'll do, is I'll set up a variable um, for simplicity. We'll call it string, and we're going to make it equal to, um, well, let's go with the quick. Oops, I forgot to put wrong symbol. There we go. Ah. Hang on, my keyboard has changed languages. Hang on. There we go. Right, so the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, so there's my string. Um, and my jumbled string at the moment is going to be empty. So this is going to be similar to like the previous video and where we, we add, we're going to have a bit of code uh, that looks something like this. Um, and this will be our new, uh, what our random popped string or random pop letter from string. Um, so we'll have a bit of code that looks something like that. Obviously not this long. It'll be just a random letter from the quick brown fox. So it might be at one point equal to Q, another point it might be equal to uh, Z, that sort of thing. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so we're imported random. We've got a string called, uh, and it contains the value the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. We have an empty string called jumbled. Um, and what we'll do is we will print the string first of all. Uh, so we can just test that that works. Um, and yes, it does. Okay. We knew that was going to work because it was a fairly straight, straightforward piece of code. Right. So what we want to do is loop through each letter, uh, in the string. And we want to do that, um, a certain number of times. Well, for each, at least for each letter in this string. So this one is quite a lot. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop out, uh, a random string but because this is a string strings are immutable that means they can't be changed once you create them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this line here um, now when I run it uh, you'll notice that instead of um, a continuous string it's actually a list which contains individual letters I turn the string into a list of letters okay so now that I've done that uh, let's write for loop. So for letter in range um, zero to the length of my original string. Okay, so this is going to loop for the same number of letters that are in the uh, original string. What we're going to do is we're going to, this is where we're going to bring in that uh, bit of code I just showed you. We're going to go jumbled is going to be plus equals to, and this is where we're going to have a random um, letter. So we're going to pop um, we're going to pop a random letter from that, from that, uh, string. So random dot rand int. So we're going to use index location. So we're going to use a random integer in uh, index location. So we want an integer. So rand int from the position zero to the length, <coughs> uh, to the length of string. So the current value of string, um, and yeah, I've put a mistake in here deliberately um, because this is a common mistake that uh, students make or people who learn programming make. Um, you'll see the error in a moment. You may have already noticed what the error might be, but we're going to run it. You'll see what the error is and then we're going to come back and fix it. Um, so what we do is we're going to print the string, which should be empty by the end of it. And we're going to print jumbled. All right. So let's run that. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the error message, and the error message is pop index out of range. Um, if you watched one of my earlier videos on arrays, you would have remembered that uh, the arrays, the index location, starts at zero. The length of the string, if we call this, let's just check the length of string. Oh, well, it's going to be empty at the moment. Um, let's do it here. Print the length of the string. Um, we're gonna, yeah, let's just run that. Okay, so the length of the string is 44. Um, if I check string at the moment, it's got some letters in. Um, 
let's check jumbled. It has some letters in. If I check the length of letter, we've got 36. Okay, so we can do the length of string plus 36 is going to return 44. So yes, it matches up. The problem is, at one point, the length of letter, it wanted to pick a random number. Um, that random number was position 44. But 44 doesn't exist. It actually goes up to 43. So all I have to do here is go minus 1. So we're going picking a random position from 0 to the length of string minus 1. So that's actually position 43, not 44. Now when I run it, we're good. So this is the quick round fox, but jumbled up. Um, and we can see if we if we added a bit of code here, instead of instead of putting this, if we stick this in the for loop, we can see what's happening at all the stages. So so we should see an empty. Um, if we print, let's print the original string and print jumbled. Okay, what we should see. I'm gonna yeah, we'll just run it. <clears throat> okay, so so some crazy things are happening here. So um we've got the if you look here, we're printing the length of the string, there it is. Then we convert string to a list. Then what we do is we're gonna print the string and we're gonna print jumble. So we should see <coughs> Woo, sneeze. Um what we should see is uh, there's our full list and we have an empty um, string for jumbled. That's why it's empty there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pop a random word out and we're going to print string and jumbled. So as we go through, string gets smaller and jumbled gets larger. So sometimes jumbled has a space in it, which in this case the first letter was a space. But as we go, go along, this list, which contains string, gets smaller. This is jumbled, which gets longer. That's why you get this cool little pattern uh, as it gets uh, shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, yeah, there you go. So that works. That's us jumbling up a letter. And you can use that for all sorts of things. You can make a game from that, uh, like word jumble. Um, all you need to do is make sure you keep the original. So you might go original equals string. Um, and then you've got the original word to check against the unjumbled word as the player adds new well, as the player inputs an, an answer, um, you know, they can, you can compare their answer with the original string. Um, but this is like the jumbling up process here. So hope you found that video useful. Um, try it out, have fun with it, see if you can turn it into a game. Mess around is the best way of learning.